My name is Aros Quine and I'm the innovator of Eco Stove. That is the stove that uses tongs to cook and that is made, produced and innovated in Uganda. I'm into research. I've always been intrigued by research, so I do a lot of research, but I also um, I work in partnership with my brother, who's a systems en energy engineer. And so we came up with the eco stove, um, trying to solve the problem that we knew was existing in Uganda and uh, needed a solution. We have um, a whole of Uganda as well as the developing world. We have a challenge of cooking fuels. And uh, you find that predominantly, um, 90% depend on charcoal or firewood to cook. Not only is it expensive, but it contributes to deforestation and uh, the health-related problems such as smoke. We wanted a solution that we will do uh, that will do away with all these uh, the problems that we had witnessed growing up. I am born and bred in Uganda, and I knew these things growing up. So even if I've traveled and got exposure, I've I've still not forgotten where I came from. So. Um, Smoke related, I mean, the firewood, the charcoal that smokes so heavily and causes health problems. And then the rate of deforestation. We've had, we had a tropical country which had seasons and rainfalls. And, but now the drought and the mudslides because of the rate of deforestation, because the charcoal demand is on the rise. And that was a, a, a big, big problem, not only for this generation, but the generations to come. So we wanted a solution, and there's no way to provide a solution than do it yourself. So we put our heads together and came up with a prototype of a stove that uses stones, doing all with charcoal and firewood. And that's the eco stove. I'm in London to show UK citizens who are, I mean, living here by the Uganda by birth, and they still have family and relations back there that they will be able to buy this product and it will deliver the same functions and benefits like I've shown them to their loved ones back home. I come from Uganda and I was born and bred in Uganda and grew up in a place where, um, in Lukunjiri, where firewood was a challenge. So growing up and finding firewood the chore, when we, we traveled and you know got exposure, so we thought, how about we solve the problem or the challenge of firewood in my place? And um, having seen a lot of different things, so joined hands with um, one of my brothers who's a system engineer, and uh, we came up with a cooking solution using the reusable stones or the volcanic rocks to be able to cook instead of charcoal firewood, which is actually very scarce in Uganda. The eco stove is for um, everybody who uses charcoal, it depends on charcoal or firewood. Because it's very scarce, so um, and it's one, it contributes to deforestation. But anyone who is in position to buy anyway at this moment, but um, it is intended to solve the cooking. So it, it is intended to provide the cooking solution for anyone who's currently using charcoal or firewood. This is a solution to their cooking problems. Um, so what I'm using to cook is actually half of this bag. This is a three kilo bag of stones. And these are the stones. If I can open one, you'll be able to see. These are the reusable stones. You use them, switch them off, use them again and again. You start at this size because we crack them manually because they don't have to be a certain shape. Because if they were um, um, done in a shape, the air system which is inbuilt wouldn't be able to come through. So what we've done is, we, we do them in a way that the air is able to come through, but at the same time, um, do the job, which is the cooking. And um, over a period of time, in, in the next six months, you'd see, that's when you observe the stone shrinking or getting smaller and smaller. So within two years, a stone that would have been this size when we started would be a quarter this size. So this is what makes the stove economically um, um, viable and um, a benefit to the end user. I've been talking about um, the eco stove. It cooks just like any other cook stove on the market, even cooks like a normal uh, gas or electric cooker, but it has the added benefit. Not only that, does it have the inbuilt air system which increases its efficiency, but it, we have, we knew the problems back home. We knew people were suffering with kerosene, the cost of kerosene, also the dangers involved with uh, using kerosene, the smoke inhalation. So we had to have a stove that would light a home, 
charge your phone, which are the basic needs of life. So these are things that we really wanted to be part of and um, to solve the problems that were current and uh, were pressing to my people. The eco stove does that by um, when the lights are meant to light a home. And if you could see, um, simply put, if I, um, this is to run the air, which is helping me cook. I've switched off and it's still cooking. Um, but it can be in at the same time. You don't have to switch it off. When you're cooking, you can still light at the same time. But this is why I said it can be operated even by a child. So by doing that, you have lights. This is two watts and this is five watts. The beauty about um, the additional benefit of light is because it comes, it's, um, it, the manufacturer's guarantee provides 10,000 hours minimum. So this will give you 10,000 hours. And uh, in addition to that, they don't blow. They don't break. So, okay. you, so you can, so you don't have to worry about a child and they, they are not even hot. So you can embrace them, you can touch them, you don't have to worry about it breaking. So this, this is another added benefit. It could be used in a village, it could be used anywhere. You could, even if somebody dropped it, they don't have to worry about it breaking. On top of that, the eco stove, we knew people in the villages spend money they don't have. Today, everybody wants to speak to their loved ones in the rural area. And you find that there are challenges finding finding um, electricity. So they have to travel miles to trading center to be able to charge mobile phones. So we put accessories and this is one of the accessories we put. Now this is an iPhone. It, it comes with 10 pins. We give them 10 pins. If you could see these are, ten, these are nine and this is the iPhone one is the 10th pin. We give you 10 pins. And uh, so somebody's even if there are 10 different phones in a home, they're able to charge it. Simply put, you get the USB and there's a USB provision right there and there's a USB button. You press the USB and your phone is charging. So these are the added benefit we give, which people spend so much money, spend, they spend so much money on uh, transport to the trading center to charge their mobile phones. At the same time, they spend so much. And I've had incidences through our research where a customer says, I'm done with charging a mobile phone at a trading center because what happens when they take them batteries, they change the batteries. So they lose the good battery. They lose, the phones don't charge fully because they have up to an hour waiting for a phone to charge in a trading center. To be able to run the energy, to run the fan or the inbuilt air system, we need the solar. And that solar is powered by the solar panel. This solar panel is 15 watts. We can get up to 200 watts. Simply put, this solar panel is plugged at the back of the stove and that will charge this. And if it's charging, you're able to see this is the energy is picked from the sun. In Uganda, we are not short of the sun. The equator actually crosses Uganda. So we have plenty of the sun. So anybody um, can, can own a stove and don't have to worry about charging all these accessories that I've given you. So the sun is picked by the solar panel stored in the pan battery and the beauty about this battery, it's able to tell you the level of charge. It has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I hope you've now understood and appreciated the innovation. The innovation is about a stove that cooks lights and charges a phone. Um, it, it uses the sun, which um, powers the solar, the, the inbuilt air system to increase efficiency. I, I hope this will help you save money and uh, protect the environment at the same time. I'll uh, save the um, unnecessary expense. Uh, money can be used for something else that is more pressing. And